WordPress robot articles. But, you know, think in terms of try to write one or two articles a week that are your own. Now, guys, I know we're all busy. We all get tied up on things and sometimes you know you know we're gonna be on vacation so I'm gonna put it on autopilot for a week or something like that but if you want to create a solid brand following you should be thinking in terms of doing about two articles a week that you've personally written okay two posts Let me back up and not necessarily articles but two posts and I'll talk about that in a second advanced if you consider yourself to be an advanced user you should be blogging daily Okay, most, and I would say maybe three or more, should be your own. So if you're posting, if you consider yourself kind of an advanced person, you might be posting about three times a week or maybe every day. Maybe you post something every day or, or almost every day or four or five times a week. But you want to try to create, you know, two at least, maybe three on a regular basis are going to be your own. They're going to be your own posts. They're going to be your own videos and that kind of stuff. You want to create a solid brand following. You want to let people know that you're an expert. You want to put a lot of content out there. That is going to brand you as an expert. So I want you guys to rate yourself brand new, beginner, intermediate, advanced. Okay, we're going to move on. So, But kind of rate yourself as one of those and kind of circle one of those on the sheet there. Maybe take some notes if you need to. And here are some basics pick up the pace here we're kind of uh, try to wrap up at about 945 we might run over a few minutes um, pick a general topic related to your brand okay for example I might write something about building a brand with video building a brand with video content or building a brand with videos on YouTube okay that might be an article that I might write I'm gonna generally write an article that's about four to seven hundred words now here's a tip if I'm going to write an article about video content posted on YouTube, I'm most likely going to post a video with it. Okay, so I might write 400 words, but I'm also going to post a video.